we are going to be um, talking a little bit about what uh, the next few tutorials are going to be about. Um, they are going to be in Blender and uh, the first uh, tutorial series in Blender is going to be showing you around Blender a little bit. Um, well, not a little bit. We're actually going to go into uh, some pretty good detail. Um, I released a video um, a little bit ago saying uh, what the future of GIMP Toots is going to be. And uh, we are getting into some Blender tutorials and stuff like that. And I think it's important for a lot of people to, um, even if you don't like 3D or CG, um, to at least know a little bit about it so you could incorporate it into some of your photos and stuff like that because if you are a freelance artist and say you have a model and you have this idea to shoot this uh, super elaborate scene and everything like that but you don't have the budget well um, all you do is just take your model into your studio or wherever put up a green screen and take some awesome shots of the model and then go into the 3D world and create that world yourself and you could get it done for next to nothing um, and so I think that's super important and um, and then 3D is just awesome so that's all this video is going to be doing is uh, I'm going to spend a few minutes about talking about um, that and stuff like that. I got uh, a few images here. We're going to be getting into detail on this. And I do apologize for that phone ringing. Um, but we are probably going to go into detail on how to create a few of these that I have brung up here. So this was done all in 3D, um, all in Blender. Uh, it's not a super, super high quality render, but um, it's still pretty nice. So looking at it from this angle, it's really nice. And then we're going to be going into um, some uh, text tutorials and how to create some cool text effects with 3D. And then um, we'll be hopping into GIMP and stuff like that for a little bit of compositing. Um, I'm not straying away from GIMP at all. It's just, um, like I said, I think uh, this type of stuff is important to learn. And I know there's tons of tutorials out there on Blender and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I've done a little bit of research and I haven't really seen any um, newer tutorials on how to use their tools and stuff. And of course, it's still the same on, uh, on the tools and stuff like that. Um, but this is just going to be my version for for my viewers. So uh, and then we'll be making, um, just like I said, you, you do your logo work and stuff like this. And um, these aren't super high quality renders um, or nothing. Some of this stuff is very basic and stuff like that. But it's, it's really nice. And to make stuff like this, it don't take too long once you learn... Um, what you're doing. Uh, I don't play around with uh, Blender's got a couple different renderers and uh, that installs by default. There's some more renderers that you can get outside of uh, Blender if you'd like but they got Blender internal renderer and then they got cycles and when I first started out with B Blender um, I was using Blender render a lot because Blender render is um, a whole lot easier to learn because uh, Cycles is node based but once you get the nodes down it's pretty awesome so we are for a lot of this stuff that we're going to be doing we're going to be working in Blender Cycles because I think it's important um, also to learn nodes and to get used to, the, to that idea because there's a lot more and more programs out there that's uh, going towards nodes so let's go um, and make some uh, clouds. These are just some, uh, like I said, not super uh, 
high quality renders but you can make uh, cool volumetric clouds and we're going to be getting into that a little bit later on and so uh, I was going to do some renders of cartoon clouds uh, like the cartoon clouds you see in like animes or, or just cartoons in general um, but uh, I did not have time to do that yet but when we get into this part of the tutorials we will make something up and so and then here's a super realistic uh, render sorry I have a bunch of programs running right now and my computer is being being super slow but um, this is all 3d this was made all in blender using the fluid sim and cycles materials and you can see how realistic that looks and this ain't a super high quality render either um, but if you take a look on the internet, just Google, um, I don't know, wine glasses or, or pouring wine into glass, uh, you'll see that the real life photos don't really look too much different. So, that's just some of the things that uh, I wanted to talk about. Um, and then, as you can see, my uh, background on my computer screen this is all done CG this is a whip this is a work in progress um, so it's not completely finished just yet but hopefully when we get into that part of the tutorials I will have this all finished um, you know it's the holiday season and, and uh, I had family come down and stuff like that so I've been super super busy so that's the reason why I haven't been releasing uh, too many tutorials and stuff like that we're also going to get in, this is just some examples um, on how to make realistic eyes and stuff like that. This is just a short video of that. Um, so there's some pretty cool stuff and hopefully, uh, let's see, let's open up this. Um, we'll also be getting into uh, add-ons and stuff like that for Blender and uh, this atom right here is uh, free and it's super awesome and uh, you guys if you've been following any of my tutorials you'll have seen this intro and we're going to get into showing you how that works and some of the awesome stuff that you could do with that um, the add-on uh, you makes it super easy to make text intros just like that so let me get this out of here and then we'll add one more here and uh, this one's got some particle effects in the background and uh, a little bit of flair to it and stuff like that um, again these are just examples of some of the stuff I just wanted to make a short video before we went into the intro to blender tutorials so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that and yes this is a Adobe program uh, save changes new alrighty and let's see I don't think there is anything else uh, now we could get to talking about blender a little bit so if you go to blender.org it will take you to blender's website and blender is a uh, complete 3d uh, suite and when I say suite it's got um, a compositor in it a video editor um, there's just so many things that you can do inside of blender so it's a suite and um, I will say this there is a large uh, learning curve with uh, Blender. Uh, it's, it's super more uh, complex than 2D work or learning like things like GIMP and stuff like that. Um, but once you get it down or get the gist of it down, um, it's pretty easy for you to go in there and just start playing around and building things and stuff like that. Um, it, just like this dojo right here. Uh, I got this idea from, I've seen an image uh, of somebody else that 
did something like this and I was like wow that's awesome and uh, so I was using that image as a reference but uh, I added my own flair and like I said when we get into that you will see what I'm talking about and let me bring you back up okay so let me go ahead and make this full screen <clears throat> all right so what you want to do is you just want to click right here and it'll take you to the installers they got for Mac for Linux um, you could uh, go and get the source code or you could use daily builds um, I'm on a 64-bit Windows 8.1 computer so this is what I would download so you just click here and you download uh, they got 64 and 32 bits and I'm not going to do it because I already have it downloaded and then once you have it downloaded you will get um, a zip file or maybe you won't uh, maybe you just get the installer and then you click it and install it I'm not going to install it because I already have one version installed um, so I went to the daily builds and I downloaded it because uh, they're coming out with some new features too that's pretty awesome so I wanted to see what they were but um, if you download the zip file yeah, you just right click and if you got WinRAR or something like that you click extract to or you'll just click on the installer and if you're on Windows it'll do it yourself and I do apologize um, I don't know how it works on Mac um, Linux if you guys want that I have Linux on VirtualBox and I can show you how to install Blender on there um, and then you will get um, after it's all installed you just click on it and you'll open up Blender and here you go this is what Blender looks like well yours won't look like this yours will look um, default and I do apologize I should have set that up um, but I'm not really going to get into this we'll get into this on the next tutorial like I said this is just uh, the uh, beginning of the Blender tutorials and the Blender series so this is what Blender looks like on the inside and I think for now this is where we will stop it and then we will be going in and showing the tools and everything like that on the next tutorial so I hope you guys look forward to these tutorials I'm pretty excited to um, share these with you guys uh, share these <laughs> well yeah I guess that would be right but um, to share blender with you guys and my knowledge on it and um, I do apologize uh, I've been doing 2d uh, tutorials and GIMP and stuff like that so trying to show 3d is a little bit new to me um, and so if I make any ex uh, mistakes or anything like that you guys don't uh, <laughs> uh, hate on me too bad for that but that is all for now and please like and subscribe for tons more tutorials and have a great day thank you